Hey everyone, I was deep in Blender setup this week and I stumbled upon three Blender add-on that completely changed my workflow. And I bet you don't even know they exist. So like I said, it's a Blender built-in tool, so they're just waiting for it to be activated. So the first tool is, let me just go to the edit, preferences. And by the way, you can get this all add-on from the extension. So in the default add-on section, if you just type the name, you can't find them because you need to get them from the internet. So go to the extension and then type the following name. I'm just sharing this video and you can just install it. So the first add-on which is called Bultron. So you may be heard of the name Bull tool. So basically in Blender, there are three ways of adding booleans. So the first way is the most default way. So what you need to do is just select your object and shift D and duplicate and place them somewhere here. Now we need to apply the boolean modifier. So go to the generate and search for boolean then you need to set your object as your target and once you've done that you need to choose your operation like union intersection or difference so like that so this is how the boolean works and sometimes it can be not work so like you see in this video so you can see that the difference boolean is not working so it's a worst way of adding the boolean so the smarter way of adding boolean is by using the tool called bool tool so when you're having the two objects for example i just having the two cube here so I'm going to select this one as last, then press Ctrl plus Shift plus B and choose what operation I want. So for example, if I choose difference, you can see that it subtracts the mesh from the top piece. And this is how the bolt tool works. And even uh, if you have numpad, you can really make it really simple by holding the Shift and Ctrl, then press minus on your number pad to apply the difference boolean. And like that, you have a many more shortcuts like holding Shift, Ctrl, then forward slash for a slice operation. And the other way is that by using the Bultron. So this makes the work even more simpler. So press the N to open the side panel. And from there, just search for Bultron. And there it is. So if you don't prefer to press any key on your keyboard, you can use this add-on. So what you need to do is just select the two objects, just like we did before. And from the end panel, you can just run the booleans. So if I want to run a difference boolean, I can just select it. By the way, you have two options like you have a destructive boolean and non-destructive boolean. So destructive boolean means that when you perform any operation like difference, this will uh, happen instantly. And also we don't have any control with the boolean because it will apply it. So there is no live boolean. So if you want in the non-destructive way, you also have the option here. So you can select this non-destructive difference. So that way you have control over your boolean. So, so for example, I can just move this boolean wherever I want and also I can resize it, rotate it and do whatever I want. So it's live operation. So if I move this cube somewhere on the screen, you can see the boolean will be disappear because it's a live boolean. And also I can just apply it. So this is the new way I found to applying the booleans. So, and the fun fact is I would just accidentally uh, find this tool. So I was actually uh, setting up my blender. So for that, I need the bool tool add-on. So I just go to the extension and then installing the bull tool and at the bottom I see the name called Bulltron. So I guess that it will be something related to Boolean. So I would like to give it a try and it's really amusing. So for those who don't really prefer to use any keys on your keyboard, you can use this add-on. Now let's take a look at the second add-on which is called uh yeah modify tool. So this is really useful. So let me just show you how it works. So for example I have a let me just uh, run a few more booleans. So I'm going to use box cutter for this. Let's draw a box over here and another one here. So we have a few booleans running on our cube. So you can see that all the modifier. So if you want, you can just add the bevel. So using fluent, I'm going to apply some bevel. So now I got a three modifier, well, maybe four. Yeah, we got four modifier on our stack. So if you want to apply this one by one, it's really take long. Like you have to come here and apply one by one. And it can be really easy if you're just having to apply for one mesh. But if you're having a, and if you have thousands of mesh in your scene and you have to apply all the modifier, it's a nightmare, right? So that is where the modifier tools comes in. So by default, you don't see the options about the modifier panel. So let me just show you how it looks. I'm going to disable the modify tool. And now you can see that we don't have any options at the top. Now let me just enable it. There you go. 
there you see we got a few options so if you want to apply all the operations and all the modifiers you can simply click on this apply all and the advantage of this add-on is it will apply all the modifier in single click and the disadvantage of this add-on is it will apply all the modifier i mean all which means that it will also apply the weight anomals and levels in some cases we don't really want to apply them all so yeah it has some advantage and disadvantage but in your scene if you want to apply all the modifier then this would be a great option and not only that it have a few more options like let me just run a boolean over here and it also have a few more options like if you want to delete all the modifiers that present in your mesh you can simply click on this delete all and just keep remember that it only delete the live modifier so if you already apply the modifier it will be not changed so only the live modifier will be delete and at the bottom we have a few more tools but honestly you don't really have to learn them all now let's talk about the final tool which will blow up your mind which is called game asset generator oh i mean game asset optimizer so so i don't see any video on youtube talking about this tool but i don't know why but it needs some attention now let's talk about what it does so basically it will convert and optimize your model into a game asset i don't know how accurately it will convert into a game asset but i'm just going to show you how it works so first of all this is not a game asset guide so i'm not going to teach you anything about how to optimize your model into a game asset i'm just going to show you how this add-on works so with that being in mind let's start so first of all i have several parts on our model so first thing we need to make sure to apply all the modifiers so what i'm going to do is select all and using the modify tool i'm going to simply apply all once it apply all the modifier i'm going to press ctrl plus a and apply the scale then right click and set the origin point to center that's it so i'm going to make this whole piece into one single model by pressing the ctrl j to join them so now it's a one single object let me just quickly see how much poly count it has so on the bottom i'm going to right click and enable the scene static so we have a 37000 vertices and 35000 faces then 68000 trees an object is one because it's a single object now let's see how this add-on is turned this model into a low poly version so what you need to do is just select them all make sure this is highlighted with the orange stroke now come to this game asset click this and so the default of fine you just simply click on this ok button just wait for a few seconds yeah it done its work now i'm gonna press g y and move this to a side then we got another version so g y move it to the other side so it will generate two models the one which is a mid poly and another one is a low poly but you can see that the shading is really nasty so let's see if we could do anything about that so i'm gonna apply auto smooth then bring the weight normal to the last and up in this auto smooth yeah the shading is almost fixed yeah we need to do some work but overall it done a good job now let's see the difference between the main mesh and the low poly version so when we're just selecting the main mesh you can see that the poly count is 32,000 and the vertices are 18,000 but it actually made some progress here so by default the vertices are quite a lot I guess but anyway and then we have a mid poly so the poly count is 16k and the vertices are 9k now let's check out the low poly version so I'm going to do the same trick I'm going to apply the shade smooth then bring the weight number to the last and up in this shade smooth and for this model the poly count is 8k and the vertices are 4k which is really really optimized and I guess it also done some UV unwrapping let me just check it really quick so I'm going to open a panel from the right and make this into a UV editor yeah it actually packed uv very decently but i don't know if it's done a great job so let me just quickly check go to select and click on overlap yeah and you can see that the overlapping are everywhere so we need to work on it to fix that but overall it's pretty good because it's a free and it just done all the work in single click so if you want you can just come here and then adjust these vertices to 
optimize your UV pack or else you can just simply go with matrix add-on because you don't really have to do in UV work on your model because the matrix is work on procedural base so anyway just a small promotion and overall it's done a pretty good job but you can see that we got some nasty shading on the top but I think it's fixable so you can just simply uh, select this one and then control select this and this and also this then right click and choose mock shop that would instantly fix those nasty shading and by doing so you can fix all the model and yeah it's really fun isn't it because you can literally reduce the poly count in just a single click so there is no time wasted and it almost handle all the process i think it's yeah it's fucking insane man so yeah these are the three tools i found by accident and they are really insane so if you want a detailed guide on how to optimize your 3d model into a game asset using this game asset optimizer just let me know in the comment section but for now just go and install these three tools like i said you need an internet connection then you go to the extension and install it so if you have any questions or doubts just let me know in the comment section or even better you can just join my discord server it's completely free and there are many members are out there who are just asking questions and solving the doubts so just go and just join my server and that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video